everybody, Ann here, sitting out on my porch having my coffee. And yeah, yesterday it got up to almost 70 degrees. It's 38 degrees right now, and the temperature is just going to keep dropping all day long. Um, there's been some warnings that it might rain, it might snow, so I got to get all that wood up into the shed. Um, I didn't think it was going to come until like the middle of next week, but I got to get it done today. Um, so yeah, it's going to drop. It's going to keep dropping until overnight. It's going to get down to like 18 degrees. But you know what I made last night? Yeah, here, let me show you what I made last night. All right, I got to make me some chicken and dumplings. Oh my gosh, this stuff smells so good. Mary, oh my goodness, you sure do know what you're doing. I'm going to add a bunch of more water because I'm going to be adding some dehydrated vegetables. Some green beans, carrots, sweet potatoes, sweet corn. Just going to stir it all up, cover it up. Made me some dumplings with Jiffy Mix. I had to turn the volume down for this part because the sound of me eating it was just like, totally gross. I couldn't even stand to listen to it. But it turned out really, really delicious. I could have done a better job on the dumplings, but it was just really tasty. And really, all that I did to season it was add pepper. That's it. That's all it needed. It was good. Looks like the garden bed cages have stayed intact, so that's good. Yeah, that's still kind of like that. So, who knows? Maybe this will work. It's done. Yep, I got this whole section stacked up. And I got some more up top here. I wish it were more. But it'll get me through a couple of weeks. And this coming week, except for today and tomorrow, is going to be pretty mild. So I don't know how far this is going to get me. The good thing is, is most of this feels pretty gosh darn dry. So at least I got some. It's already down to 36 degrees, and it's not even noon yet, but it feels like it's 28 because there's a slight breeze, so nothing else to do but build myself a beautiful fire. I am going to close this door here in a little bit. Melting some wax for some fire starters, and guess what I'm making? Yep, a pot of beans. I know it looks gross right now. I used, I didn't use Mary's homemade canned beef. I wanted to try that can. The, the stuff that comes in the can and see what it tastes like. So, oh, my mouth is watering. Whenever I start thinking about a big pot of beans, it's going to be more like chili. Um, I haven't put any seasoning in it because I want it just to kind of cook down just a little bit so I can kind of taste what it's going to taste like and then I'll know what else to add. But it's nice and warm and cozy and toasty in here. I love, love looking at my fire. But I can't keep this open forever. So I'll just stare at it for, I don't know, maybe five more minutes and then close the door. And uh, yeah, those beans, I didn't even soak them. They're just going to cook all day long. After that pot starts boiling, I'm going to put a rack on top of it and elevate it so it doesn't cook quite as fast. So it's an indoor day today. I got all the beautiful ingredients in it and I'm going to show you what they are right now. Tomato flakes, tomato powder, sliced garlic, uh, bell peppers, I put some curry, some cumin, and some chili powder, jalapeno peppers, carrots, and those are my dehydrated mushrooms. I'm not going to add them yet. I'll add them towards the end, but that's all I put in it quite a bit, but it is going to be really, really good. That's not going to be done for a couple more hours, so I've been making some fire starters. I only made six. And they're just pine cones dipped in wax. So I'm going to see how these work. Of course, they'll ignite all on their own. They burn really great. But I'm just trying to get, get them to burn a little bit longer. So I think I've done this before, and I think they worked out pretty good. So Because pine cones really just burn very, very quickly. So, yeah, I'm just going to give these a try. I think I need to dunk a couple of these a little bit more. It is 66 degrees in here, and I feel like I'm roasting. I've had to crack a window. See, look at my, my cheeks are all rosy. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it gets really, really warm in here. So, crack a window, pot of beans going. I, I couldn't be happier. 
Okay, this chili has been going for a few hours now, and I've tasted it with all the other stuff that's already in it, and it needs something. I am out of the Lee and Perrin's, um, what do you call it, barbecue or steak sauce, and I can't find it anywhere. So, I got this Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to put some of it in it, and hopefully, hopefully that'll make it taste like I want it to. It's almost there. Very close. Ooh, look at that. I can't wait to eat it, and I'm going to have some leftovers tomorrow for breakfast. Crack a couple eggs over the top of it. It is going to be tasty. All right, let me just taste a little tiny bit of this and see if that did the trick. You know what? Just a little bit more. This is almost as good as a steak sauce. It does have that distinctive taste, that flavor. So I think that this is going to do it. Alrighty, I got to just stoke this fire a little bit. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Spilling. I got to put in the mushrooms. I almost forgot. Most of these are my own. Some of them, the, the big strip on the top is uh, from ones that I ordered. But there's honey mushrooms, there's chanterelles, there's black fungus or tree ear or whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to dump that all in. Mm, that's going to be delicious. Stir it up. And I'd say it's got about another hour and then it's going to be done. This is going to be really, really good. Probably my best pot of beans ever. Here it is, you guys. It is done. Do you ever get tired of me sharing my pot of beans or my chili? I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me eat it because that's gross, but I've already tasted it. It's delicious. Oh, look at that. And so much nutrition and protein. Look at this boy. <laughs> Just kind of like draping himself over me. Oh, yeah. Papa's got to come in and get in on the action. Hey, Junior. Come on. Look at us. You're a good boy. You're relaxed, aren't you? This dog, he's never satisfied. He has to just keep getting closer and closer up up to my body and my face. Well, Papa, goodness. <laughs> You're good boys. Look at that. Look at that. Sonny's over there by himself. Yeah, these dogs, they're sweet. I love them. Well, it's 20 minutes till 5. <laughs> the chickens are all up in my yard. They're like, Mommy, feed me. Feed me. So I'm going to go get them some corn because it's going to be cold tonight. This boy here, his eyeball is all better. Um, let's see if I can get him to turn the other way. I don't know. See, both eyes. Both eyes are fine. He's still got a little damage around his face and he's growing back his little tufts by his ears. But he's doing okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> the puppies are all over here. Hi, Midnight. And got the Easter eggers over here, too. I haven't even gotten out of my jammies yet today. <laughs> so I got to go check for eggs. Oh, uh, only three. That's okay. I checked the Easter egger pan and nobody laid in there. So let's, let's check Patsy and Mama's. Oh, looky here. We got one green egg, one brown egg. And I think that's it. I'll take them. Well, let's check and see if... No, none in there. That sure is a pretty nest. I hope she does come back and use it. Yeah, none in here. That's okay. Five is okay for today. Remember, we had that big egg haul yesterday, so I'm satisfied. I'm back out sitting on my porch in the freezing cold. And it's kind of like breezy too, but I just got to be outside. I've been inside all day. So the chickens have, I don't know, maybe 20 more minutes and they'll go up into their coops. Oh, Papa wants to go next door. And uh, then I'm going to shut her down for tonight. So that is literally all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. You can now join me on Rumble where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.